new updates in the investigation of a 40 year old cold case. WNCT Zora Stevenson reports the sheriff's office hit a roadblock in the exhumation process. Zora. Pitt County Major Dance tells me she does not know the exact location of Sheila Brown's body. She says she can't move forward until she's 100% sure of the location. I know where the grave is, I know the cemetery, and I know the uh, plot that it's in. It was a family plot. The only problem... There are five graves on that plot, and there um, are no grave markers. Major Dance reopened the case of Sheila Brown months ago after she thought it deserved a proper investigation. Brown's case was originally labeled a murder rape, then closed as death by natural causes. After countless interviews and a lot of research, it seems there is always something standing in Major Dance's way. It has been a five step forward, two step back kind of situation. However, it's been 42 years, I don't think another few days or weeks or months. It's going to really make that much difference. Major Dance got a recommendation from pathologists to exhume Brown's body, but she doesn't want to move forward until she's 100% sure of where it is. Doing an exhumation is not one of those things where you, you know, you go and you do and, and you have the wrong person. It's a very expensive, very costly thing to do, time consuming. Um, orders have to be um, written up um, to get this even done. Bill Kittrell works with the Pitt County Historical Society, specializing in locating unmarked graves by using dowsing rods. Get in the center of the grave, if it uh, points toward the headstone, it indicates that that's where the head's located, it's a woman. If it turns and goes toward the feet, then it indicates that it's a man. Kittrell says there are ways to identify Brown's grave before exhuming her body. Major Dance is confident she'll find Brown's grave, and when she does, she says the exhumation will be a huge help in bringing her justice. Having that information would be a, a, a big piece of the puzzle. Major Dan says she's made a lot of headway in this investigation, but in order to keep it going, she needs to know the cause of death, something she hopes the exhuma exhumation will reveal. Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.